Hi, my name is uh, Reggie Barroza. Uh, I'm in working from home. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, it's a demonstration of using RDZ, Russian De Developer System Z version 8, to create a meet in the middle, uh, matching an uh, existing uh, double SDL with a uh, running uh, program. Basically, the, this is necessary, it's required, when the, the names and the layouts of the components do not match. Um, so basically that works for COBOL or PIA1. In my demo here, I'm gonna do an PIA1, and uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do an COBOL, not PIA1. I'm gonna do using an existing wisdom uh, and an existing COBOL. Let's see the demo. Well, first, I'm not gonna use the real mainframe. I'm, I'm using my uh, unit test, uh, RDZ unit test. You see here my, my existing code running on the mainframe. And I have a bunch of stuff running there. Uh, I can now start in using RDZ to, to, to create the the web service. Uh, my problem is I have an wisdom and I have an a COBOL. The COBOL is running uh, already and deployed on kits. My wisdom has uh, different names uh, to match to uh, COBOL different uh, names here and it might be uh, different layouts. Uh, I want to match uh, to the input request it's gonna be the stock symbol like IBM and the output request is gonna be the stock name that be the description from the COBOL and also the COBOL will retry the the share or the stock price that's called stock instead of share uh, that's my uh, problem so let's go for my demo uh, I have RDZ I'm already connect to my mainframe. Uh, the program that I'm gonna use is this code here. This code is deployed and running on my kicks. And this is the guy that gives me the stock. So this, uh, I'm gonna input message will be the stock symbol. And the output message will be the stock description and the stock price. So let's do it. I'm going to start from scratch, so go to my enterprise service uh, or inter uh, enterprise service perspective. I'm going to create a new uh, service project. Let's call demo meet in the middle. Uh, this is not a button up, not top down, it's called meet in the middle. I have only one option here service provider and uh, one option here only that means create an a uh, COBOL to do the transformation go to the next first I have to import my stock code code my search code and to be sure that I'm importing the right COBOL here then I have to import the WSDL could be schemas but I just want to see the double scale. Okay. Then say next. And that you're gonna see here the Kobo that I just showed that uh, is also on the mainframe. Uh, and see here the, the linkage section. And that, that input message, the output request will be here. Also see the wisdom. This is the wisdom. You see the uh, input request and the output request. So uh, basically, I have here the the COBOL, and uh, I can show the, the different areas here. So I have to match these areas with those areas here. And that's what uh, I start doing here. So first thing is I, I go to my uh, right uh, 
perspective here I am gonna do an uh, create mappings uh, I want to do an uh, request and response web service it's not just an uh, one way go to the next uh, this is the source the wisdom and this is the COBOL uh, I want to create the match against the COBOL name that says stock query and uh, as I, I, I saw before and the mapping names I can take the, the default now I have to map the way back from the COBOL for the wisdom so the COBOL uh, area I get stock information to map with the wisdom they say finish and now I have to start doing the mapping okay the request is gonna be uh, the symbol that's gonna match with the COBOL uh, symbol uh, this is done I can save now the request the response I have to map match the COBOL description to the wisdom description and the share price layout COBOL to the share price and the wisdom this is complete I just say save so my mappings are fine I can close everything here I don't need those guys anymore now let's go to the dialogues okay the mappings are fine so I don't need to create the mappings anymore I just want to create the web service and CICS resource and that RDZ uh, dialog goes to the mapping and uh, that's my mapping uh, put request output request and uh, I could change the name let's call it stock for the program that's gonna do the matching and I don't care about the options here I have the latest compiler that could be zappable uh, I can change the name of my WS bind file as well I can check here and see if I want to do an account error this is my pipeline just want to double check that must match my my property here let's say max I want to generate uh, everything to the same driver this is the program name I don't care about this option here they say next now uh, I want to deploy that guy so uh, assuming that I'm connected to my kicks and I have all the authorizations I can deploy to this pipeline so basically uh, he's gonna copy the WS bind to the pickup directory and generate a manifest file that is going to be able to do the installation in the Kix 4.1 if you don't have this authorization you have to give that to your system uh, CICS guy uh, so what you see here is the WS bind that has been created uh, this is my, a binary file and then you see the COBOL program that is doing the parsing and that's the COBOL program that has been generated that's in the part this program as an any other CICS program must be compiled compiled and added to the CICS tables so I can just move this program to my uh, mainframe go to my ZOS project perspective uh, move this program to an uh, RDZ project I think that I have one here uh, now I have to move my COBOL uh, I think that I have a pro project here and uh, I see this COBOL that has been generated I need to compile link 
I can see the generate the JCR and that's my compile link of the co the, co the program and uh, next step is to deploy this cobalt to, to kicks and uh, that's what I'm gonna do now uh, you can see the JCL loads on my CICS load live I can uh, submit uh, this generate JCL and uh, I can see the output my JS and it's being executed if I go to my master console I see the, the job just ended now uh, so I'll be able to, to check the re return code is for I can check the, the output and uh, just be sure that it has been compiled and load on my CICS so it's done now I have to do a, a, a new copy I have already the CICS definitions in there so uh, I could do from here say phase in or I can I could use this uh, manifest file that's pretty cool because manifest file also does the pipeline scan so I just say install let's make uh, some space in here so you can see the results we say install and you see here that I uh, did a pipeline scan and did the phasing so my my program is ready to be executed so I can go to my uh, WSDL that I had that before I can use the web service uh, explorer and I can use an uh, operation here and uh, I point to the, the right place let's take IBM and say go and I should, should be able to see the response and that comes from the COBOL if I see the input request and output request uh, it comes from the COBOL uh, that proves that my application has been working uh, I think that well, I have another one here let's try HP and uh, I should get uh, this other data here if I want to, the, to do the debugger suppose I want to debug uh, existing code I can uh, create a debug configuration here and uh, that activates my debugger configuration I, I have to be sure that I'm pointing to, to my IP address correctly say apply and now when I, I test this COBOL again uh, let's this pick uh, IBM again let's say go the debugger uh, activates my this uh, I'm doing the debugger of my stock D program now and that proves that I'm using the, the right code I think that's what I like to show and uh, I don't want to go on the debugger details here but that's something that probably is going to be interesting to, to discuss some other time thank you